NBA bust. It's a term used to describe an NBA player who was picked high in the draft and or had high expectations heading into his pro career, but never came close to living up to those expectations. For the past two to three years, I've heard this reoccurring theme towards Kwame Brown being a bust. If I had a LeBron jersey, I'd be burning it. Former top NBA draft pick Kwame Brown slams Lakers star and bizarre 15 minute online rap. This article was written by Alex Raskin, sports news editor for the Daily Mail. Check it. LeBron James isn't great, I beg to differ, and his failure to get off a shot in the final moments of Lakers' season-ending loss to the Nuggets sweep is proof of that. <laughs> Former NBA center Kwame Brown explained in his rant, the first high school player to be taken with the top pick of the NBA draft Brown is considered by many to be a bus and even referred to himself as the bus in his video is his channel's name. He did, however, play alongside several greats, including Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Gilbert Arenas and Richard Hamilton. You'll hear that in the clip. And so I discovered that LeBron, you not that, bro. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't hate to say it. Throughout history, people are going to, you know, the little nerds are going to look up your stat line and they're going to say, he got to be the greatest player that ever played the game. And, and people who actually play are going to know that is bullshit. How many times we got to see you flop and you owe that person $30 for that bill? You flopped and knocked the person be out their goddamn hand. Never one time I played with MJ. I never seen MJ flop all the way to the goddamn sideline. Have you seen that? You, you got good stats. You played longer than anybody. You a bad motherfucker, but you not that. I played with Kobe. I played with a, I played with Richard Hamilton. He would have got a shout out. Brown's 13-year NBA career ended in 2014 after he earned 63 million dollars. While James is currently deciding if he's going to return for a 21st NBA season in 23-24, which, in my opinion, is a grift in its own. He took, the, he took the spotlight away from Denver so quickly after announcing that that the next day ESPN did nothing but follow the possibility of LeBron retiring this season. You know how much he stand to lose this season if he doesn't play? A source close to James has revealed to the Daily Mail that an impending retirement for the four-time MVP is in fact unfathomable and not on the cards. Duh. They claim James is using the media circus around his retirement to distract from the sweep. And of course, when Kwame Brown did this epic rant, it warranted a response from none other than Yah's uncle Shannon. You talking about what Kobe would have done, what would you have been done? What would you have done? <laughs> You're number one overall pick. Yeah. I, I don't get it because LeBron was in a no-win situation. And Skip, he said, you're supposed to be great? Really, Kwame, of all the people, he should never ever question anybody's greatness. Because this is what we know. If there's a Mount Rushmore for bust mm -hmm. in the NBA history, whether he's the first head, the second head, the third, or the fourth, he's on Mount Rushmore of bust NBA players. There's no question. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to question a guy that, whether you say he's first, second, He's top five of the greatest players to ever play. Dude, you the number one pick in the draft, and you talk about you setting screens. Yep. Talk about the games that you played. Talk about the game when it shots you hit. You were supposed to be an all-time great player. You were supposed to be a superstar. That was the supposed, not LeBron. LeBron James is mm. everything that people thought he would be and more. Hey, clearly LeBron was stat jacking. You know, he, he is one of the greats, though. I, I got to disagree with Kwame on that. Uh, he's one of the greats, but the greatest, uh, I guess that's going to be up for debate for a long time. Kwame Brown put up his most points in the game versus the Sacramento Kings on March 17th, 2004, with 30 buckets and 19 boards. It's 30 points, 19 rebounds for you casuals. But going back again, he played with the Wizards for four seasons. He went to the Lakers for three, went to the Grizzlies for one, the Pistons for two, Hornets for one, Warriors for one, and the Sixers for one. I also like to point out when he played with the Hornets, guess who was the owner of the Charlotte Bobcats at the time? They were the Bobcats at the time. 
you guessed it, Michael Jordan. So the Bama who drafted him, and the Bama who had high criticism for him, also picked him up in the trade. <laughs> Go figure. The greats are picking him twice. Just to duly note, just to note that. Just to note that. MJ drafted him, and he also came back to play with him. And trust, you could tell Kwame wasn't really receptive at playing with Jordan at first because there was a lot of critique on the court, and you could just look at Kwame's facial reaction. It was just like, just get up out my face, bruh. Hey, but he's one of few that can say he set screens for MJ and Kobe. Not many can say that. The alleged greatest of all time NBA player got swept in the NBA playoffs. One side wants to excuse him while the other side wants that discussion. We want that smoke to hold LeBron James accountable. Whose side are you on? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Channel. Channel.